Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? We made it to the penthouse suite. A very, a cheap one, I might add, at the gold nugget. But the penthouse suite in Vegas, baby. Welcome to CCTV. We got the boys here, and we got an alien that we brought from Area 51, or we're bringing him back. I'm not really sure what the lore oh, for this alien is. Uh, Guys, this alien's carrying me on his shoulders. Yeah, we also got the little one over oh. there. Oh. Whoa, don't drop me, alien. Whoa, alien. Be careful. Don't hit my oh, leg on the couch. This one's wild. This one's wild. Thanks, alien. Man, oh, my God, you broke his back. Oh, guys, I haven't been in the gym. My legs shrank. <laughs> <laughs> Help. <sighs> Damn, this is crazy. Oh shit. We're in Vegas, guys. Hey guys, we're in Vegas in a hotel that uh, Alex paid to upgrade for like really cheap. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was $150 to, to get this essentially, uh, interestingly enough. And this is probably one of the biggest hotel rooms I think I've stayed in, in Las Vegas for sure. Um, this going back to places like the Cosmopolitan, the Luxor. Uh, I don't know the fuck I said, the Venetian. You've been to that many hotels out here? Yeah, How often yeah. do you go here? I don't know, man. I'm, uh, I've been drinking a little bit, so... Yeah, and undermining uh, our credibility as a poverty-stricken entity. Listen, <laughs> you know, I have a lot of stocks. <laughs> nice, what's your biggest stock? Creature up Dude, <laughs> I hate that shit. Don't do that. Uh, generally speaking, though, yeah, we couldn't get everyone a suite, so that's 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 the poverty line that we're toting at this point. Is you know we could have gave everyone a suite if we had that YouTube money. I have two you know beds I mean? in my room. So do I. I do too. We, why do we? We have six beds. Do you want to have a sleepover? We can. We actually we can. We got a really good deal on this last minute Vegas hotels because it's off season and it's like a bargain. But mm -hmm. everybody has two two baby beds in their room. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he could kill somebody from the balcony. Yeah, actually, I went down to the store uh, and I purchased like some beverages, like the whiskey and the coke, and like um, some you know shaving cream or whatever because I got to shave the pubes off my face. And uh, that was that was one third of the price of this suite for that bill. It was about fifty bucks for all those things. Cause they're, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for that little bottle of Jack right there. Yeah, yeah, for a little bottle of Jack and all that. So damn. Jesus. Realistically, this is pretty interesting. I, I'm not sure if it's because we're like Brett said, off season, or because there's like a concert hall literally upstairs. Um, but uh, above this floor? Yeah, did you not hear? It sounded like it was right above this floor. Oh, I thought I was hearing because the downtown UFO celebration shit is like three blocks that way. So I thought it was like a sound check. Yeah, it was vibrating maybe, the whole. Thing. It was pretty loud. Yeah, maybe, it's, it's maybe both are gonna happen tonight yeah. while you're. For context, to we heard a very loud concert sound and kind of noise going on in this room not that long ago before mm -hmm. we started filming. Yeah. That I think airplane that's an airplane that was close that is an airplane we got off of the uh scv uh trip that we just had down here brett drove we had a little bit fun with uh with the aliens in the back seat <laughs> of the vehicle mm. uh i think we've also lost our deposit on the um vehicle is that i don't think it's coming back very clean why uh, more on that later <laughs> <laughs> but first, Later. it's not that bad. But first, but first, one of our award-winning sponsors, guys. There's only one thing that can pay for suites like this: Alex's credit card. But the second best it's option out. is a sponsor that keeps CCTV on the air. Guys, guess guess what? Guess guess who who it is? Who is it? Hims. Guess who I? No. What? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Brewmate, baby. You, what a perfect segue for our sponsor. You're going on a road trip. You got your <clears throat> perfect road beverage. Okay, maybe it's an iced coffee. Maybe it's a Red Bull. Maybe it's, it's a whiskey a, coke. Actually, no, 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 it's, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> dude, no. But you're like, dude. What? If, how do I keep my drink just the way I like it, as if I was at home? How do I? How do I keep it just as cool or as hot as I like it? Brewmate, baby. They're the best. <clears throat> just to open this. Uh, don't you just? What? Sorry, what? I was, oh, go gonna, I was gonna do a dumb bit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Don't you just love warm alcohol? Well, neither did Dylan, the founder of Brewmate. That's why he made it Brewmate's mission to shake up the beverage industry for the better. Brewmate's stylish, insulated drinkware is designed to keep your favorite beverages ice cold all day long. Whatever your taste in beer, wine, or spirits, Brewmate makes sure every sip is the perfect temperature. Okay, listen, I was just talking about road trips, so this alcohol pitch doesn't quite apply, but no matter what you're drinking, it's perfect, it's stylish. I have a, like, a, looks like a wood enamel that looks like it belongs in this hotel room. Right I've now. seen it, it's One very nice. My little whiskey decanters, you know, you pull those down, you're like, oh, this is oh, very dude. nice. Uh -oh. Uh, I should oh, have them right now, but I'm dressed like an alien, uh, so oh, it's kind of ruining off. it. You popped my hand. What? Where are You're we? An alien broomstick? <laughs> <laughs> Don't settle for warm alcohol. Chill out with your favorite drinks all day long with Brewmate. Visit Brewmate.com and add the code COWCHOP to get 15% off your first order. That's 15% off your first order when you go to B-R-U-M-A-T-E dot com and enter our code COWCHOP. It's 15% off. There's a lot of great options, whether you want like a big tumbler, whether you want little ones to drink whiskey out of. No matter what your needs, Brewmate, perfect, perfect companion for you. Hopefully not, you know, anywhere crazy, but if you're at home chilling, if you're on the road, you know, a little taste of home. My Brewmate, reach for my Brewmate. You could be drinking out of a Brewmate right now instead of that. I like, wish, because the ice in this melted really fast. Yeah, that wouldn't um, happen with Brewmate. Which kind of sucks, yeah, if I had a Brewmate. I, had, I have mine at home. And uh, I've been using that. A you have bit. the same kind I do. It's the, yeah, it's the, the, like wood, the wooden one. one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So those are dope. Pick they, one up. They have some wild styles. I think there's one that's like galaxy looks and all sorts of You'll stuff. You'll be the talk of your college classroom when you walk in with your roommate and everyone's like, damn, dude, what's that? And you're like, this is my roommate. 50% off with the cow chop code. You know, I got my iced coffee team. in this. Did you say 50% off? I said 15. Do not leave I ministry. said 15%. You said 50. Yeah. You said I must 50. have slurred my words because of what's going on here currently. Oh, no. so. I thought that was coffee. Yeah. I was about to drink it. How did you think it was coffee? He told you he spent money on Jack and Coke. Why didn't There's you a Keurig it already. There's a Keurig. We could have nice, perfectly temperature maintained Keurig coffee with my brewmate. Brewmate, thank you for sponsoring CCTV and Couch Hop. Guys, go get yourself 15% off. Thank you, brewmate. Beautiful design, great products. All right. Uh, that's it, I guess. <laughs> Let's go on. I thought What's about that? running the bath upstairs. Yeah, do it. Running the bath? In the old days of CCTV, we would just get up and do things. Get on a subway, go somewhere, go for a walk. Why don't you go run a bath? I don't, get it going. I, 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 She'll I, follow you up there. You'll follow me up there? Go run a bath. You guys can talk about... I don't know, talk about your fucking problems or whatever. Talk about how, <laughs> talk about how Garrett's not going to school anymore. Should I talk about how we got robbed? I have so much space here. Wait, now. what? Should we talk about how we got robbed? Oh, yeah, that's what we're supposed to talk about, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's this podcast? <laughs> well, it can be. There's a lot going on. It's hard yeah. to keep track. Area 51, break in. Sorry. Listen, you, maybe you watched... What? You touching his... <laughs> no, he didn't touch my... Oh. He was close to it, though. Oh, he's close to it. Yeah. Look, you maybe you watched the break in We Got Robbed video by now, by the time this video goes up. But a uh, quick recap for those of you who don't know, we got broken into four in the morning. There I am, laying awake, going, how, how are we ever going to pay these bills? And then like a penny from heaven, ear, eardrum. Uh, what are those? Earplugs. Those earplugs, yeah. I said eardrum. Guys, I need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, like about two weeks. I'm gonna grab coffee. Keep okay, going. Okay, y'all, will you make us some coffee? Yeah. Enough yeah. for all of us? Well, it's just you and me now. Wow. You're, we were the only ones who were there that day. Yeah. That I, faithful day. I came in because I thought there was gonna be like a lot of cleaning up, but it was just like the cupboard that was next to the, the garage thing that was really like fucked up. But other was, than that, it was. They were extremely polite for some reason. Yeah, well everything was broken in huge pieces. So it wasn't like, oh, sh clean up the shattered glass. It was like, oh, clean up the $3,000 metal rolling door that's now bent permanently out of yeah. place from a U-Haul truck. Who wants uh, coffee? Okay. It's dangerous, but I would like some more. Yeah, make me some too, please. The, uh, some bits that we didn't talk about in the video uh, I remember we had the grow house while I was there hanging out with the two cops and suddenly in my mind I was like, okay, wait, what's the legality? Are we doing this as a bit and it doesn't matter or it's, we're allowed to do it? 
And then like I was, I got through the whole walkthrough with them, and I was like, okay, oh, cool, it's fine. They didn't notice. And then like they were talking about the video footage, and they're like, oh yeah, they looked in the grow house, but they must not have thought your crops were big enough, huh? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and then on their way out, they were like, what YouTube channel is this? He's like, yeah, my kid watches YouTube. I was like, I was like, oh, maybe he's heard of Cow Chop. He's like, yeah, I'll ask him. Probably hasn't heard of Cow yeah. Chop, but uh, yeah, I'm down it. You know, uh, pretty crazy though, huh? It's just like. It's just weird, like, knowing that somebody else that's not supposed to be there it was, like, in there. It's was like when there. you get your car broken into yeah. for the first time, you just feel, like, violated. Yeah. It's just it's just so odd. Yeah. The moment I saw them on the ring doorbell shaking the thing, I was like, this can't be good. That's a bad feeling. <laughs> They're in my office, like, digging through my paperwork. But really, it's like you couldn't have picked a more broke-ass company. Yeah. The idea of us being robbed for valuables is so... Pathetic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, why, dude? But uh, it's over. It's fine. Spent some more money. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we are. You know what we said? Can't keep a good meme down. We're still going to Area 51. Wait, that, that's it? That was like a five minute story. Well, you weren't here. Why don't you? Yeah, we didn't know. We didn't, it we, all started four o'clock in the morning on a cold, Fall day, night, morning. I already said morning. I already set the time and place. There I was in my bedroom, wide awake. Shut the fuck up. Because I have, uh, you were... because I have, uh, you know, bad sleep apnea. And uh, my phone goes off. It's ADT security. Important message. Power low. They said. I responded. Is this an automated machine? Or I can't tell. And they said power low. This is to inform you. Did you receive the message? I said, confirmed. I received the message and hung up, thinking nothing, until it was Brett who texted and said there was trouble at the office. Trouble. Trouble's afoot. Hey guys, there's trouble. <laughs> there's big trouble at the warehouse. That's kind of how I pictured it, as you said. Okay, wow, there's some trouble going on at the warehouse. Is it the vibe? No. All right. <laughs> so well, I was off a little bit? <laughs> yeah, you're off a little bit. Okay. I can't remember what what point you were texting about the security. They unplugged our security thing. That's why they said the power was out. The thieves just Oh, you know what it was? Them. Because your message was, there's cops at the warehouse. And that was it. And I said, oh, really? Why? Like, I, I thought I confirmed the message, the stupid message. Why were the cops showing up? Like, did ADT call despite me confirming oh, the message? I was, like, I was like, I told them to call the cops. I was like, right. I'm here with the cops. It was like you wanted to, like, fight me or something. That's kind of how it felt. Yeah. You were mad at me. I do want to fight you. You were mad at me. <laughs> let's go back. Let's look in the WhatsApp. Let's, we don't have to look at the WhatsApp. Let's read the receipts, what the... dude. I saw all those I'm messages curious. in the morning, though. Oh, so here's the exchange. Here's the exchange. Ready? Okay. 5.17 a.m. I said, anybody awake that knows how to check the security system in the warehouse? I'm here with the police. That was the worst part. I was like, let's review the tapes, officers. And they said, okay. yes. And then we go up, I climb up to this thing, and there's like some shitty little mini game where you have to draw a certain shape. And I'm like, triangle. I'm like, ugh. I'm like, uh, uh, tic tac toe. Eh, eh. And it's, it's like, like uh, it's like an Android unlock screen. Yeah, it's like an Android uh -oh. unlock screen. And I was like, oh, sorry, sorry, officers. And I don't know. Uh, let me ask the coworkers. So then at, an hour later, <laughs> the, the, this is how this thing goes. Lindsay goes, I'm still awake. Then Alex goes, 6.20 a.m. I got a call from ADT saying that the system was low on power. They asked me to confirm that I heard the message. Why did they call the police? Brett, because I told them to. Because armed robbers rolled through, smashed a U-Haul through our rolling doors, and tried to rob the place and the neighbors. Lindsay Washburn, holy fuck. <laughs> Alex Marchand. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? I'm gonna back it up for a second. That wasn't what the fuck. Why the fuck was Lindsay still awake at 6 a.m.? I think, well, because I tried to call her. Oh, I thought she had stayed up from the night previously through 6 a.m. No, I, I stayed up from the night previously until uh, 6 a.m., yeah. Okay. But you didn't type anything for an hour? Yeah, I was probably playing WoW. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I'm not expecting to get a fucking... Dude. I'm not expecting to get a work-related phone call about armed robbers it's at fine. 5 o'clock in the It's morning. fine, I was at the warehouse in 10 minutes. Besides, I, had, I had a 10 minute response time in person to an armed robbery. I didn't know that there was an armed rob... I don't get the ring notifications. You you had informed me Your WhatsApp so casually. goes off, I'm like, guys, help, I'm being killed! Someone, please, please no, no, tell no, no, my no, mom no, no. I love her! He's uh, like, you, no, I no, called no, no, ABT. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> 
They no, called no. the cops or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> Your message was literally, I'm here with the cops. Does anyone know how to access footage or whatever? I'm here with not, the police. Not, your first message should have been, we got robbed tonight. Well, what is... But it's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't piece system. together. It's five in the morning. Uh, I'm at the... I'm here with the police. You're like, <laughs> because oh, man, that's up. so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Why else would I be? Why are you? Why first of all, this this kid over here is like. See, I hate when you do this. I hate when you recruit people to your fucking. I didn't do anything. Like, oh. This is how. This I is how you. This is them. how you. This is how you make men die with you. You you make them go on this fucking noble mission that you think, and then they end up drowning at sea because they don't fucking know any better. I'm a free Garrett, thinker, man. Cops have come. Cops have He's come to our thinker. warehouse before at five in the morning. Does that have to be at five in the morning? They've come to the warehouse before because the alarm was off, right? Yes? Why remember remember, the why raccoon would I theory? Physically remember be Tony's the raccoon warehouse. theory that caused police to show up at our house or uh, we had, warehouse. We've had the security get set off accidentally yes. by like mystery animal yes. before. But yes. why, 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 so why, 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 why would I, would I physically would I go to the warehouse? At five in the cool morning off. and be like, uh, the rat, oh, I don't know, because his bath is overflowing. Let <laughs> get your coffee real quick. Oh, thank you. Wait, okay. I know that's what happened. Yeah. But it's <laughs> Do you, you like it's it black? It's true, happened. it's overflowing. Do you like it black? Yeah, I love it black, thank you. It's hot. Mm. I'm gonna go see what's happening with him. Okay, we'll finish telling the story. But it's back to you and me. My perspective of this, I was asleep till 11 a.m. <laughs> I woke up, I saw 40 messages in the WhatsApp group chat. I thought, surely something's amok. And then I read the messages and saw the pictures and chuckled to myself and then went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> There was nothing I could do. No, there was nothing I could do. Well, like Tony and John were like, "What happened? We'll be right over." I was like, "Guys, that's nothing. They already robbed us. There's nothing you can do. Like, you want to come to work four hours early? You can, but what did he do? Our warehouse was robbed. Our warehouse was robbed. That's the first message you should have sent. Uh, that's the. Uh, I just really should have been the only message. I just like that. The only thing you you'll get like a notification at five in the morning, and you're like. Why it's not yell? Brett pleading for his life. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really pay attention to it. This is absolutely Brett will handle it. Over four Bro, Brett will get the door is fixed. Is that a good thing? <laughs> what is it? You say, isn't that's that a, a good thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? That will get me. You're trusting if, me? If you, yeah, of course. If you pleaded, I hey, too hot. Hot. I'm in danger. Of course, I'd get on the highway and you know be there in like 25, 30 minutes. Because I'll take my I'll take my dog out first. Because yeah. you know otherwise she'll yeah shit all over the house. But yeah. Hey, so why why exactly did you run a bath? What do you mean? He's gonna take a bath. You're then, taking a bath. Yeah. I'll take a bath. Why you, not? You, t- you actually take baths? It's like more like a jacuzzi, isn't it? Because it's got the fucking it has jets and jets. shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see yeah. that. That's yeah, it's been real stressful. It's been real stressful. We got robbed recently, dude. I was trying to take the edge <laughs> off. <laughs> Yeah, what right a, what part know, of that was stressful for you? Just read, just reading this, just reading the chat, dude. <laughs> I, was, I was awake, man. This is crazy. <laughs> to reiterate, what was the what was the damage? What happened? What did they? Uh, what exactly did they damage? And what did they steal? Our emotions. Me personally, <laughs> Our uh, mentally scathed. <laughs> the the gate was like five hundred dollars to fix. So the, they cut the chain of the gate to just roll it open, basically? Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. We're going to walk. Okay, so here's how you break into our warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to go into the details of like they, what they, they broke. They broke our gate, and then they did something to our door that made it. That cost $3,000. And then we had to have AT Heat come out and like restore some security features mm-hmm. and add a few new ones. Like the rob, like the next robbers watching CCTV. <laughs> oh, they might be. They stole our hard drive with a bunch of couch out footage on it. They might be fans. So shout out to you guys. What's good, man? Hope yeah. your U-Haul's all right. They're like, we gotta get that go cart. <laughs> that looks so fun. <laughs> yeah. So what did they take in total? Uh, the the uh, the boost board. The so here's my theory, board. right? Oh no. Oh gosh. <laughs> Face. Uh, uh, what's you your know, theory? I'm ready. James originally bought the booster board. Right. And you know. I think that he didn't want to come in and confront all of us, so maybe it was easier to hire some gunmen, right? Think about it. They were looking for something very specific. You know, in my head, I thought you were going to say he came in look, and did it, but look. you saying that he hired people to do it is a lot more fitting. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, they came in, they found that booster board right away. It yeah, was very was far in the back. I mean, not yeah. to say that there's anything of value besides the, you know, Tons of garbage we have lying around, <laughs> but they specifically went for that board. They it's I'm like pissed they, about that too because they didn't they didn't take the remote that controls it. So or, they just or ha- the charger or the yeah. charger. So they just have a board, a boosted board that's supposed to be utilized with a remote. 
but can't be. So they just have a fucking skateboard, essentially. Just hey, a heavy skateboard. A message to the robbers. If you want to come back and get the charger, <laughs> just pick a time and day. I promise you there won't be cops waiting for you. It'll just be me mm -hmm. alone in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. No harm, no foul, you know? Well, because when you said in the chat that they took the... Um, they took a boosted board. I was thinking the hoverboard, the orange one, yeah. and I was really sad. Oh, I liked dude, that thing a yeah, lot. I would have been yeah, really that sad. would have been really because that's the Lamborghini one. Yeah, yeah. man, everybody yeah. likes that. One. The booster board really never get like got much runtime. Never you got know. its time in the spotlight. It is really cool um, if you like commute, you know, f down the sidewalk a lot, but no one really does that. So you're kind of like just kind of <laughs> boosting yourself like. A forward, and then you have to pick it up, spin it around. Yeah. But you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. That board. your headphone? Will those headphones reach your head? Will you yeah. listen to? It will make me feel more comfortable when the the lobs fall off while Alex is running the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just a little breaking the fourth wall moment. This mm -hmm. is actually a hello. We're sounding good. We're sounding okay. You hear us? Okay. You're picking us up. Still, yes. When, okay, I was, yeah. when I was running the bath, that didn't break the fourth wall at all. Oh yeah. Well. That could be a scene, when there was a cure a scene rig. from the movie, but now I'm consulting with a crew member <laughs> I see. of the movie. Sorry. The that artist, boosted board. The director of photography. Does that sound good? Talk about the boosted board. Hmm? Well, I was just trying to think what it was used for. <laughs> what are these faces she makes me? I don't know. It freaks me out. It's bad? The audio's bad? It's kind of weird. What are you hearing? Fuzz. This is what I was worried about. From whom? Fuzz. Fuzz. From whom? Hot fuzz. What, are you, what fuzz? I mean, we should probably fix the fuzz. Let's let's isolate the fuzz. Let's all mute our mics one at a time. Turn it on. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll. I'm muted. Muted. Okay, you're not muted. I'm not muted. This is my voice. You still hear fuzz? Okay. okay. So turn, Safety. Mute yours. Okay. Garrett, you turn yours on. Wait, I can't. My microphone's in the alien's fake pants. Well, you're gonna have to break the fourth wall if the alien isn't uh. real and just for yeah. <laughs> sure a second. Okay, no, un unmute yours. Mine's unmuted. Testing, testing, testing. Is it mine? Okay, mute yours. Hello, testing out the microphone. Am I staticky or, or not? Hello, how's it going, everybody? Microphone test okay, one, two, everybody three. Unmute. Everybody unmute. Okay. Unmute. Is there static? Hello, 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 hello. Check, hello. check, check. One, hello. two, three. Hearing static. Fuzz, we somehow fixed it? There was never fuzz. In Interesting. Adri, Sometimes you're it fixes crazy. itself. You're on crack, Adri. <laughs> Audio be like that, dude. It just you know? be like that sometimes. A little look behind the scenes here at Couch Up. Yeah, that was some good uh, problem shooting, mm -hmm. guys. Everybody, great job. Thank you. Keep that all in. This is, this is how I figured out that we were robbed, is through <laughs> similar methods. Teamwork. <laughs> At first I said, why are cops there? Is it because the power was low? Turns out, no, it's because gunmen entered our warehouse and uh, breached every security we had. <laughs> See? Anyways, oh, I think dude. a video for this probably came out, yeah, hopefully. It, um, it was short. I, I'm not, I honestly haven't watched it. Uh, I wanted to meme it up a bit. I thought it was funny at first before I realized that like it's pretty fucked up. The whole thing's pretty fucked up. Uh, also, my first thought was it was fans, which like made me very upset. But from watching some of the footage back, it's it's like it, I don't know. It it, it it still could have been. I'm not gonna leave that out. But it's just it, the whole thing is is weird. Yeah. We also said they hit our neighbors too, which makes me feel like it's a bit indiscriminate. Yeah. Indiscriminatory. Yeah. If they if they just hit us, I feel like yeah, it would definitely right. be fans. It's truly like a just like a random crime. Yeah. You know. I mean, the thing, the thing is, from 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 the sense of like drugs. From from the sense of like, you know. The, a booster board was taken, a hard drive with just irrelevant shit was taken, and like they found the the go kart, the, the little mini go kart with the Segway attached to it behind a green screen, and that appears to be like what was lost. Although I think at the end of the day, truly we won't know, uh, because there's so much just shit everywhere that maybe one day, you know, we'll be like, hey, what happened to the scarecrow outfit that we had? Is, is it lost in a, a box somewhere or did the robbers take it? The problem yeah. is the warehouse consistently looks like it's been ransacked. So you will like, if you didn't tell me that we got robbed, I just wouldn't have known. Maybe that's what happened. Honestly. Maybe they thought when they entered that somebody else had aren't you <laughs> before them. And so they just thought nothing of value was the left. The thing that's, that's weird too is that when robbers, whenever somebody gets robbed, they usually like, 
as far as I've seen, they usually go a bit like crazy. They'll like break shit just to break shit. Mm -hmm. They'll like go more wide. You know, they'll they'll just smash shit up. No, they didn't do that. They were right? extremely. They, they kind of yeah, dice with. They, they broke my did. monitor. Yeah, you your office got kind of fucked, right? Yeah. Well, they realized like at one point one of the monitors like came on because he bumped the mouse and then mm -hmm. he like started pushing the monitors over like they were recording him. Like he lost his mind and did that to all the monitors. Mm -hmm. and he like knocked mine off the table. So that was weird. To your point about the mess, I was walking through with the officers, like through my office, and they're like, I take it it doesn't normally look like this. And I was like, uh, Did you lie? Uh, I would have lied. I was like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have straight up lied and said, Yeah, this is a mess. Uh, and then we went to Lindsay's desk, and the trash was knocked over, and he's like, Is it normally like that? And I was like, Like what? And he's like, Oh, like that? And I, was, I couldn't understand what he was saying. He was asking me, like, if normally we just have Lindsay's trash, like, knocked over on the floor. And I was like, No, that's not normal. But it's possible, I guess. So. Yeah. Also, we could see them leave, though. That's the only thing. It's like about whether it's mysterious if they took anything. It's so like, that would have been awkward when they watched the footage back, and it's already a mess. And they're like, "Wait a minute, this guy just this they, guy is the." They they didn't say anything, but that definitely happened in their mind when we reviewed the security tape and everything was already all over the floor. Yeah, <laughs> and then they were yeah. like, "Hmm." But I did want to point out that when you watch them on the security footage, it's kind of funny watching them like what must be going through their minds because they get there and there's a giant like bounce ball in the parking lot and they kind of like move it and they're looking at it. And then John said like they were looking at like the fake detective files on on like his desk, and, like <laughs> your guys' detective game, and like what are they? And like there's like a cup, cop badges on the table, yeah. like a fake gun, and they're like, what? Where am I? We already we already solved the mystery, so you should have told them that that uh, you know we found the killer for that episode. In case mm -hmm. you haven't watched it, go solve the uh, go sh uh, see the unsolved <laughs> mysteries and solve the case with us. Uh, we did the last one with Dex. Prior to that, Jacob was on it. It's a pretty good series. I like that. Uh, although the last, the They're second fun. one wasn't didn't live up to the hype of the first one. No, no, but I like the first one a the lot. The first one too. was really yeah. fun. The second yeah. one was all right. But yeah. if the second one hasn't come out yet. It's better than the first one, so we'll, make, we'll go watch. Well, it. Dex is yeah. in the yeah. second one, and it's, it's pretty funny. It, it's pretty funny. It's still pretty funny. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. You know, uh, back in the creature's office. I need a dramatic pause. Mm. There was the big swatting that went on. Uh, the one of the biggest swattings, I would say, on record. It was a top, like I think, top ten like swattings. No, I never, I never watched the creatures, but I did hear about that. I remember when that happened. I heard the about the infamous that. Kutra. So similar Swat. to that, I got a text, and you know, cops are at the. Actually, you know what, something? I didn't even get a text in the WhatsApp. It was literally people tweeting at me when I woke up, and they said. Go, go to the office, because uh, at the time Jordan was live streaming. So the whole thing was on live stream. Yeah, 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 that's and where I saw people it. just tweeting at me, yeah. you, like, wake up or whatever, or like, you need to go help. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I figure, like, for, for a, 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 some reason, I thought that it was still going on. That's kind of what it seemed like. I didn't know anything that was like, I didn't know it went down already, whatever. And I ended up calling the local police department to tell them like, hey, uh, I know this is going on. Like I'm, I'm with this office. I just want you to know that like it's, it's not like legit or like you know whatever. Like how can I help? Because I thought he was already like taken or something. I was trying to see if I could go down and like help him get out of the situation by being like a secondary like you know validation thing. Mm -hmm. But um, that was a similar instance to where I had to talk to detectives as well. And not only that, but uh, FBI eventually took over that case Jeez. because it, it, it turned into an international thing because the guy ended up being from like Ireland or some shit. That's where he made the calls from. So it became international, it wasn't like, but I had to talk to the local Colorado detectives. Mm -hmm. uh, that whole situation was crazy in its own right because it was, it was gunmen entered the building. And so they sent in like SWAT trucks. Mm -hmm. There was two different accidents on the road leading up to it because the SWAT trucks didn't give a fuck when they were getting there. <laughs> they just cut people off at the red lights and people ended up swerving into each other. So there was two separate road accidents. Oh, fuck. There was Jesus. seven or eight different news outlets with just all kinds of just SWAT cops, uh, you know, SWAT trucks, police trucks all down the road. It was uh, East County Line, well, that's where the office was at. And then the road intersecting it was where our office was at. And there was just hundreds of just cops and uh, police vehicles. And they had the whole place. They evacuated the two schools next to us, you know? And there's like Jeez. footage of, um, cause they had the helicopter news or whatever, of all the neighbors in our building being evacuated by the SWAT. And they all had their hands on their head as they're walking out of the Jeez. building in like a single file like line. 
So that was pretty crazy. Really improving your relationship with your neighbors, huh? Yeah, that was, <laughs> after that, I mean, the tax guys really didn't like, they weren't like our buddies. The firefighters though, they were always chill. They were like, what the fuck did you guys do? Yeah. But the tax guys were like, mm. yeah. But they were also like the software guys below us that like found out we had filled like a, you know, a giant fucking inflatable pool of water and all our servers were literally beneath us. And that's when the landlord brought a lawyer in and have a conversation with us. Oh my God. That's a, that's a separate thing. But uh, <coughs> wrapping back to the detectives' conversations, I and, and you telling me when they found the case files, then we're like, "What the fuck is this?" It's it, it's like similar to like when I was talking to the detectives, and I was trying to like swatting was kind of new at the time, so I, they were trying to figure out like the motive, and they're like. They thought that it's like one of us did it at first to like for publicity. So they were like going through my phone to see who <laughs> oh I had God. called in the past day. Then they like saw that I had Skype and I guess they're tech savvy to the point where they know what Skype is. And they had, they, they went through my Skype logs and there was this one creature uh, like group where we had like a bunch of conversations with each other. And I think Max at the time, Gassy Mexican had put like, oh, and we were talking shit about somebody or whatever. I'm trying to remember exactly who it was, but it's not really relevant. But he was like, yeah, like, fuck that guy or whatever like that. So the detective was going through my fucking receipts and was pretty much like, who is this guy that you guys are talking about over here? <laughs> and it's like, do you think he did it? And I was like, all right, dude, like, I know you're like a detective and shit, but like, Jeez. come on, man. Then he saw my Skype with my grandmother and it was all in Russia. And then he was like, he got really like sketched out by that. So <laughs> after that, and on top of the, the news uh, that I had booked, um, Good Morning America, that had come out and interviewed Jordan. After my experience with all that, like anytime cops are involved or whoever is, even news is involved with like what we do, I'm so like, I'm, I, I just, I have to just like disassociate because I just know that they just don't fucking understand on top of it. Like, just like you said, when they get into our warehouse, they're like, who lives here? This is the disaster. And you said they even found her like one weed plant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, the I mean, robbers even, even, like look in in a little glass house yeah. at one point. And even, just, like, like, even the criminals found the weed plant. They, uh, you know, they didn't even take it, man. They must have thought it was real <laughs> shit. I feel bad now, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our weed yeah. plant wasn't even good enough for you to take, dude. What the <laughs> fuck, man? Jeez. Yeah. It's growing real good too. That's sad. Anyway. Hey, let me uh, read our other sponsor yeah. really quick. <laughs> While you <laughs> contemplate that sad, sorry, that yeah, sad it's, memory. It's a lot right? of sad, sad stuff going on here. Damn, sorry, yeah, sad boy summer. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, here's the thing. What's Cheer not? Me up, what's Brett. not sad? Cheer me up. Bring in the mood. Guys. As most of us have found out the hard way, getting into debt is easy. Getting out is hard, especially if your FICO score isn't great. Thankfully now, there's Upstart.com, the revolutionary lending platform that knows you're more than just your credit score, darn it. And they offer smarter interest rates to help you pay off high interest credit card debt. Upstart goes beyond the traditional FICO score when assessing your credit worthiness. They actually reward you based on your education and job history in the form of a smarter interest rate. Upstart believes you're more than just your credit score. They believe in you and they understand that. They make it fast, simple, and easy to check your rate in just a few minutes without affecting your credit score. The best part, once the loan is approved, most people get their funds the very next business day. The next day. Over 200,000 people have used Upstart to pay off credit cards, student loans, fund their wedding, or to make a large purchase. Free yourself from the burden of high interest credit card debt by consolidating everything into one monthly payment with Upstart. You can see why Upstart is ranked number one in their category with over 300 businesses on Trustpilot. Hurry over to upstart.com slash CCTV to find out how low your Upstart rate is. Checking your rate takes only a few minutes and it won't affect your credit. That's upstart.com slash CCTV. I mean, look, everybody's in debt, college loans, running a business, yeah. you know, maybe you're like struggling to make payroll and then someone robs your warehouse literally the next day. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know, make it easy. Thank you Upstart for sponsoring us and helping us get out of debt. Hopefully that can be of use to you guys. What else is uh, going on? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was really, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people probably tuned in cause like I said, we talked, I talked about it a little bit in the video, but really it was just a reactionary thing where I was just kind of like, wow, damn, that really sucks. But I guess we got to all sit on this for a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, out of the day, I guess, you know, it is what it is. 
Um, I'm sure that, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe though, you know, something will happen from it. Maybe it won't, um, kind of on brand. I was saying at some point, I think I was talking to Brett on being, brand? being cursed. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just, Bad just like still a general happening. curse. You know what I mean? Like just, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just like a cop earlier. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Well, I guess we got, well, um, the cop earlier today you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one wasn't so bad we, for those that are watching this. I don't know when this would go up in relation to after the, it would, this yeah. would people, go after uh, people but, know if we lived or died in at this point, I guess. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. That, that is interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> this could be yeah. like the last thing my parents like see yeah and that's sure. depressing well, so so we're we've already gone to area 51 but when you're watching this we haven't this is the day right before we went to area 51 right. so it's kind of hard to speculate as to what the content was all that's happened today is that we got out of uh california and then entered you know nevada and now we're in the hotel and so there's footage of that. We're still going to a party tonight, and I think that would be in, in the vlog as well. But he's talking, wait, he's talking about that police thing, though. No? Right. right. Before right. we left. The yeah, state. yeah, yeah. So before, let's say, we just we were just fucking being idiots at that point. And then, flat out, I don't know if, again, I don't know how much of that's going to be in the, the, what do you call it, the video itself, because... Uh, hopefully all of it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. hopefully the audio picked it up enough, because we, we didn't really film the police guy all that much although i think even pointing the camera in his direction kind of triggered him a little bit <laughs> i don't know what triggered yeah, him more was, did. was the camera in his direction or the fact that like brett was in the middle of the road with the passenger door open after he saw garrett jump into the car <laughs> in an alien suit you know what i mean <laughs> i'm not sure what d disrupted him more in his flow of things he was pretty upset about the whole thing but he straight up was like w what i thought was funny was he he was looking for it seemed like he was looking for confrontation by the way that he like sort of spoke in a manner that was like oh like you know so what was this all about like he was like so oh you guys are filming he's like well what's this all about where he's jumping in the vehicle and now he's blocking traffic and i was like officer i admit that's pretty fucking dumb and he's like he kind of gave me this look that's like Okay. Okay. You you've obviously owned up to the fact that you guys are all being retarded. So you know I, I'm gonna be a little bit lenient here. And they saw my bong that I was holding up from the front. <laughs> and I was like trying to give it to him. I'm like, it's not. There's nothing in this. We're not high. And then I was like, yeah, we were just at the smoke shop across the street. You know, we're just filming something. And I was like, we're trying to get out of here. And he's like, well, trying to get out of here. You're getting out of here because I could write you a citation. I was like, we definitely don't want a citation. <laughs> We got robbed last week. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be on our side, man. Yeah, what the fuck? Why don't, you, go, why don't you come get the, the security footage from us and solve our crimes, okay? What I should, <laughs> Taco my, Bell cop. Realistically, <laughs> see, Jesus I've Christ. talked about this uh, uh, on, on my streams where I was like, because, you know, like I've... I've been doing a whole lot of cop role play and right. I was like, I wonder how much of this is going to service me in the real world. How much of this is applicable? <laughs> so really I could have been like, yo, officer, let's talk about penal codes for a second, right? Ooh. So what we got here, what we got here is some Ooh. suspicious activity, right? You're detaining us. I appreciate that. Respect that. But real hella quick, we don't need to film in purple out here. <laughs> Dude, We're in the middle of this. <laughs> <laughs> real hella quick. I don't see how this works. Let me lay it down. Real hella quick. Public space right now. We're totally allowed to videograph here and we're allowed to record you. <laughs> And then the he would have just fucking put me in cuffs and then beat, you know, beat the shit out of me. In the jail. <laughs> and that would have been the end of the vlog. Who did he ask you? He's like, oh, you've been on the force before? Like, no, sir. I role play. No, online. sir. No, sir. What I do is I pretend to be you on the internet and uh, get a lot of notoriety for it. So, you know. <laughs> Let's uh, let's let, you know. Let's bridge the gap here between you and I. I know that you're <laughs> probably a senior officer, you know, but come on, now. you know, let's. <laughs> we can wow. relate on a lot of levels. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's actually a, there's a popular guy I was watching the, the other day called like uh, like Matty Paya or some shit like that. I, I probably totally mispronounced his name, but it's a guy that uh, role plays, I'm gonna use that term lightly, as a cop in Oregon, Oregon, whatever. Uh, and so you might've seen some videos on, on Twitter, it was like trending. Basically it's like, 
it's like cops, but like if cops was like a wrestling show, but he markets it as like, he's like a real officer. So his whole brand and the shtick is like, he's got the sheriff's uniform. He's got the cop lights. He's got the mm -hmm. cop SUV. He's got like the correct livery. He's got like the fucking uh, database terminal inside the car with a laptop and a partner and dispatch. But like a lot of the ways he like, he just straight up calls people fucking idiots. Now he's going to beat the shit out of them in the back of the car. <laughs> so he doesn't behave like an officer at all. But what? That's like the next level of it where I was like thinking thing like oh and, and and when I do the video game stuff It's like one thing, but this guy's doing it in the real world and he's that, get, with, and he with gets like strangers or he's like improvising I think it's with paid friends. actors. I think oh, it's paid okay. actors oh. and <laughs> Are you shaking your head? No Do it's you know not paid actors? No, he's a bounty hunter He's a bounty, he's a bounty hunter. hunter? Yeah. The problem, so people yeah. say that he's a bounty, bounty hunter, but he literally wears the sheriff's uniform. He addresses himself as a sheriff. That's surely very illegal. So <laughs> if, if, if yeah. he is a bounty hunter, he's impersonating an officer, which would be a crime in itself. So I think the best case scenario here is that he's filming himself pretending to be a sheriff. He addresses himself as a deputy. In fact, he uses his uh, a nickname like Deputy Mayo, which is like a nickname instead of his full name, which would be Deputy whatever the fuck his last name is. <laughs> full name mayonnaise. Right, whatever. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that are wrong with his videos, but I understand the bounty hunter because there's people that do the bounty hunter stuff. In fact, there was a guy that got banned actually on Twitch because he live streamed himself bounty hunting. Cool. And there was some pretty cool clips where he's like, you know, got the GoPro first like person camera and he like rolls up to some dude and gets out and he's like, hey! And he just starts chasing this guy down oh the street gosh. and he's got the taser out so it's all like first person. <laughs> like, you know, uh, what's that movie uh oh, is it oh, hank oh. or something like that what's the fuck is the movie uh, it's, it's like hardcore first person henry. Uh, hardcore henry hardcore henry yeah hank uh it's, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty much like that but it's a live stream yeah. why but does twitch hate good content that they don't like awesome. they actually banned a guy recently for getting robbed uh, of his of his vehicle he got robbed on he his got stream robbed. and they banned him <laughs> he was in a parking lot he like got out and some guy rolled up on him jumped out started shooting a gun at the air holy shit he dropped the camera and he robbed his car he very much told he shot the gun to like give me your car keys you know i'm shooting the gun mm -hmm. and then like twitch banned him and they like justified it as like oh safety concerns or that's whatever. like our luck dude yeah like we would be that's robbed so and then banned yeah <laughs> But like, what the fuck? Anyways, I brought up the this this guy because he's like, you know, he's someone that's doing this cop thing. But it's like he's getting so many, so many views on 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 Twitter. It's mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty crazy. That's crazy. But never heard of him. Yeah, there's a there's a huge there's a huge demand for police related content. Kinda I still like think live PD and yeah. stuff. Live mm -hmm. PDs very big now but yep. like before that cops yeah, yeah was, it was cops my pd is taking over in fact sure. cops was like is cops still on yeah 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 like yes. new episodes, not yeah. only is it on the air but it was like the highest like viewed and like like retention wise show on on television for a long period of time and a lot of people don't realize that and i was listening to a, a podcast where this guy's whole narrative was he, he pretty much gave the history of cops but his whole narrative was like how he didn't how the cops show is very biased because it's like edited and to show the cops in good light, but also like how a lot of the criminals and stuff that they arrested were like minorities and just in mm. general, how like the guys behind it are like Hollywood people and it's just to show like cops can do no wrong. It's like propaganda. That was his whole mm. narrative, which was kind of shit because cops is a pretty good show. If, mm -hmm. if yeah, I don't get that from yeah. cops. But, I never yeah. That. yeah, I know it's weird. Just a lot of people like, like watching police work and I liked watching police work enough to like start to like sort of get in character for it, but I'm I, I would hate to go out and actually do it and uh, you know get shot at. So mm -hmm, yeah. it's it's weird how that works. This guy's like uh, some of the, the the best content is the cops walking around with like a GoPro strapped on them by like bar none. Mm -hmm. you know? So here's to you, officers. Yeah, here's to you. Ho ho please Even catch our robbers. Yeah. That's, that's that's the you know. Yes, all of the of officers that. that are fans of Couch Out. There's I'm actually sure. a, there's at least there's one. A there's a few. Oh, we there's met a, one in San Diego. Yeah. Remember him? Oh really? Yeah, that was weird. That was cool. I yeah. thought we were getting uh, yeah, detained. detained. <laughs> but he's like, no, you guys are chill. I watch you guys. I'm like, what? Yeah, we took Cops? a picture with him. Huh? It was cool. It's a cool. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Just talking to cops in, in general is weird when they're like Sick. when they're like not being cops. Yeah, they're on the right. level. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, wow. that's gonna be the. I think that's hopefully that's the peak thing. Hopefully we don't get like an earthquake or the building actually burns down to like some I don't know city fire. 
Not caused by us, by the way, but like you know, just some natural disaster doesn't occur. So a we, fire yeah. from the mountains, which are very far away from the office, somehow reach the I don't office. Know, just like behind us, maybe some kids let off some fireworks. And the, I mean, the, the warehouse burned down. It didn't even it has, need has a, a rolling before. fire to burn down once. So I mean, mm-hmm. what, what, you know, who knows? Yeah. Wait, the warehouse burnt down before you said yeah, that? Yeah. The, the yeah. people who were uh, occupied the building before. Wasn't it like a ABC or? It was like a set building. It was a set company. There was an actual fire that burnt down the building. Wait, was it the, was it the really? set company that yeah. built our you sets? You can see this. Yeah. I yeah, think. okay, yeah. They were storing sets there. You can see the burn marks if you look. It burned the whole thing down and the neighbor, mm-hmm. when he came over after the robbery, he, he was like, oh yeah, it was like 10 minutes or whatever from my place burning down too. They like oh, had, a, had to cut his door down and then like save it. But yeah, how how have I been there for? I've been I here for so long. I don't know. I, I don't know. We've talked about <laughs> you, it. In you front also, of you. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it in front of. But also, like, you didn't start watching Couch Up to like the barn era, <laughs> so you missed like a lot of just like lore in general. What? But we're talking about the warehouse. <laughs> yeah, we're we're talking. Came my, after the barn era. I know, what I do you that. mean? I know, he yeah. knew that. Yeah. Yeah. My, well, my point is just like you just don't care about like anybody here or like any of their like history. What? Like you learned. That is a jump. I feel like you learned stuff real time on CCTV. <laughs> That's not true. I know Is some it true? Stuff. I definitely know some stuff. That's my middle name. Vitalievich. Okay, that's right. I actually know that because of, uh, that's what they Because do. of the fucking creature wiki, right? You on the couch out wiki? <laughs> Is that the thing that Russians do? They take like the middle name of their, their dad, I think? Grandfather. I take the middle name of my grandfather. Right. Yeah, my dad, uh, he ran away, so it'd be kind of weird. I, had, I did yeah. have his middle name for a while, though, actually, so you are right. Yeah, normally, normally it is. Yeah, you like are your right. Yeah. yeah, my my name used to be uh, Alexander uh, Sergey Chernev. Oh, before I, I changed it. <laughs> See, I'm wow. glad my parents didn't do. Didn't yeah, this do that is this is me. more heavy stuff here, but more yeah. Heavy stuff. So my dad actually had me a, a pick my first name. He picked my middle name. <laughs> what? Like how? Sorry, how it's spelled. He picked oh, my middle what, name. Still what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was like 12 or some shit. And, but he was like, your gran-, he's like, let's make your grandfather's name your middle name, right? Instead of your dad's, because that's weird. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I took his last name, but then my first name, I wanted to be regular Alexander, A L E X A N D E R. And uh, he's like, well, that's boring. I was like, what do you mean, dad? He's right. My father, my guidance, you know. He's <laughs> like, ah, oh, just you could make it like uh, like the cool version of it. He's like, the A L E K S A N D E R. But cause that, and in my head that makes sense. But he's like, no, he's like, no, the Russian version is without the ER. Yeah. And nice, I was like, oh dude. yeah, sounds cool. This definitely won't affect every single roll call I have from middle school to high school <laughs> to the point where teachers think that there's a female named Alexandra in the class. What? And I have That's to fine. consistently clarify them and say, so Alexandra, it's Alexander. And everyone's giggling at me, dude. You ever, get, you ever get giggled happen? by a whole class? Yes, multiple times. And and during the first days of every class, so seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth mm-hmm. grade, it would always be every teacher roll call. Alexandra, Alexandra. That's on them, dude. But yeah. it's not even it's like, it's like, like reading it's retention. Six. Like the spelling of it is like sick. Yeah, looking. you're. Yeah. Like it's cool looking. It was good advice. I guess in hindsight, I can be like, yo, I'm sick, but you know, <laughs> I really peaked in high school, dude, and that really just you know haunted me. You know what it's like to peak in high school, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say you're like wrong or anything. <laughs> dude, don't let him put you down. Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Are you gonna do that with your kid? Would you middle, middle name Alexander? Put them down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name my kid some fucking really stupid like RPG name like Malfurion or like uh, Dennis Spaghetti. Valera. Dennis or Spaghetti. She just name him Denny, dude. Bro, how would it be Dennis Spaghetti when like <laughs> that's, my, that's not my f- oh, middle name? Yeah. Dennis Spaghetti Dennis Marchant. Spaghetti. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Come around to it. Dude. Yeah, my dad. Uh, he named so my name's Dennis, <laughs> but a lot of you don't know. It's not Dennis Marchin. It's Dennis Spaghetti <laughs> uh, Marchin, and he thought it was funny. Uh, he's he's <laughs> be legendary. He suffered a heart attack due to binge drinking at 47, <laughs> so I never really got to have a conversation there with him. Ask him, Dad, why'd you curse me with Dennis Spaghetti? <laughs> But, uh, you know, he seemed cool. He made YouTube videos where, where, he, where, he, where he smoked weed and threw shit at people. I thought, yeah, Literal straight. 
Yeah, do you, do you remember watching the, the cow chop video or we threw shit at each other? I don't remember. No, you don't. No, actually. Don't shit don't back worry. now. Danny no, no, no. will remake it. No, no, no. I, I was yeah, there Yeah, like, he gave me some more ideas in case you guys want to remaster some of them. <laughs> You're pretty quick to do the fucking business, uh, business suit best idea. <laughs> I didn't know this. It was such a fucking weird coincidence. Yeah, it's like, oh. I think I was there for the shit, though. I actually think that was the very first, even before the video that you introduced me in with that mm. BTS, I was there for that, where you the were, shit got thrown at the lens. Mm -hmm. Right, I was there. Oh, we were was, talking about the house there. The house, the house the oh, there was more shit thrown. There was human, human, thrown. human sewage well, no, backed you're up. Talk, in our you're thinking house. about when James brought like his? He collected uh, like you know uh, like three months worth of his dog poop, uh, unironically to like put inside the warehouse. Is that what you're right. talking about? No, 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 you're talking about the gorilla poop. You, I think you guys got set shit. We got sent shit. A Not the first times. time we got sent gorilla shit, yeah. Okay. but yeah, that happened. But prior to that was at the house when our sewage backed up in the basement. It was all in the basement. Was all poop. <laughs> yeah, and then he like scoops them up and starts. And then I started, I started yeah. picking it up with different things and throwing it at people. So eventually our living room had like poop all over. Oh, you it. were yeah. the one throwing shit. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, dude. <laughs> yeah. Alex is crazy, dude. He's crazy. Yeah, I was crazy. He's chaotic, bro. See, see Garrett's, my, my, Garrett's my protege. That's the word I was trying to think of for the past two fucking days. Protege. I was trying, you were thinking I, of that word for two days. Well, I was thinking of like shadow or something like that. Like, <laughs> but that doesn't shit. Really like that apprentice? Apprentice. An acolyte. Acolyte. Well, yeah. There's so many Minion, synonyms. Peon, what was the word I was looking for? Uh, <laughs> that, that, would, that, Slave. that would imply servitude, and although I think your internship status is still active, I, I, I don't want to say it's that, you know, I don't think it's like, you don't work for anybody, but, you know, you, you're like, you're, 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 you're there, you know, you're the next, you're the next crazy, chaotic, you know. I thought you were going to say creature. <laughs> I didn't see you. We need to end like, this dude, podcast. Come on. <laughs> you want me to say C word? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. You know, I, I hope that uh, when you graduate uh, five years from now, like, you know, you're like, everything will work out good for you. And you know, I mean, if you want, if you want to work for um, Brett at some point, let him know. <laughs> <laughs> end it there. End it there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching CCTV. Bruce called me, uh, texted me. He you want to take a bath? <laughs> <laughs> Bruce says he's going to Area 51 right now. So, all right, cool. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank guys. you. Thank you, uh, thank sponsors. You. Thank, thank you, thank sponsors. You. Thank you, brewmate. Thank you, Upstart. Appreciate love you. you. Love you. I was just back there getting the bags, and she wasn't there. Oh, my God, we left her at the last rest stop. <laughs> oh, man, we're going to have to go get her right after we finish lunch. <laughs>